The man at the center of a growing national scandal involving the Department of Veterans Affairs has resigned. Good evening and thanks for watching News Channel 9 at 5. I'm Latricia Thomas. And I'm Calvin Sneed. At a news conference today, President Obama says he has accepted the resignation of Eric Shinseki after an investigation into wait times at VA clinics that in some cases proved to be fatal. News Channel 9's Kelsey Bagwell is live at the VA clinic in Chattanooga. She joins us now with how local veterans are reacting to the news. Kelsey? It's about time. That's how one veteran I spoke with earlier today summarizes Eric Shinseki's resignation. And while the future of VA leadership remains uncertain, many Chattanoogans agree prompt medical care for veterans is a priority. They're letting veterans it's taken so long to get a, an appointment that they're letting veterans die. In the wake of an audit showing secret lists were hiding long appointment wait times for veterans, President Barack Obama accepted the resignation of Veterans Affairs Secretary Eric Shinseki. I spoke with one volunteer at the clinic about today's news. I was personally appalled at the fact that uh, anyone in a higher position could uh, even endanger the lives of any veterans due to uh, just getting a bonus uh, or money uh, versus uh, lives or, or, or anything that uh, would deter the veterans from getting proper care. Local veterans say lack of attention to veterans' medical needs in Washington, D.C. has a ripple effect in the scenic city. These people in here care. They just they, they just can't do their job the way they want to. We got some good nurses, good doctors. They're just overworked and understaffed and crammed in a little small building. Some say serving this country is reason enough to be granted top-notch medical care. I feel that, uh, that, we, that they owe us. They owe us help. And, uh, and I think that what I'm getting is helping me. So I'm... I'm I'm satisfied with what I get, what I'm getting right now. While changes are underway with VA leadership, stressing the importance of veteran health remains a priority. People don't realize the mental stress of being in a situation where life and death is uh, on the line. And there's just not enough that you can do for someone that will do that for your country. President Obama says he appointed Department of Veterans Affairs Deputy Sloan Gibson to serve as the temporary head of the department. Reporting live in Chattanooga, Kelsey Bagwell, News Channel 9.